Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. Okay, for the awareness for the week, we have the King of Swords and we have the Ten of Wands. So the King of Swords brings forth this very powerful energy. Energy that is going to put you in a position to make good decisions. Why? Because you're going to be looking at things based on facts and evidence and you're going to be using your smarts, your intellect, your reasoning in order to make these decisions to problem solve or to strategize in whatever area of your life requires it, in your relationships, in your office relationships, in your friendships, whatever it may be, this sharp, this sword is sharp and it is surgical of getting to the heart of the matter, of focusing on what's important, of understanding all sides of an issue. This is what this king brings to you in terms of attributes. Of course, this could be someone uh, within your life, a wiser, older figure who is very objective, someone who is known for being really smart and able to untangle complex issues perhaps a lawyer or a judge or, you know, someone, someone who may understand the law or be involved with it. But there's a sense here of being uh, very prepared in the problem solving and the strategizing uh, tasks that you're going to face. The other thing that the King of Swords brings is this no-nonsense not getting stuck with emotions, not being listening to half truths or whatever it may be. He's going to seek the truth and deal with the truth. He's going to eliminate the toxic uh, or negative components of the life too. If someone within your circle is not making your life better, then the King of Swords could really sweep right in and say, I'm going to cut you out for now until things get better. So with this King of Swords, here's the Ten of Wands. And yes, you see the man pushing the wands up the street and it does take a lot of focused energy and strength and determination to do that. So there is this part of the Ten of Wands that I'm going to get this these wands up there. I'm so close to my goal. I'm going to be complete. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to do it by myself. But often, you know, when we have to take on so many tasks or job or responsibilities by ourselves, it's exhausting. And that exhaustion leads to resentment of those around you who are not helping out, those who are not supporting, those who are not sharing the load. If you are carrying the load yourself, then you may feel very capable and you may feel, oh, it's not such a big deal, but it ultimately may become a big deal because as you watch others slack while you're making it happen, you know, that plays some tricks on your mind and it's, it leaves a quite a picture in your memory. So to the extent possible, delegate. There's a lot going on, obligations, financial considerations, uh, you may be feeling the weight of debt or of, um, you know, financial pressures and you may just have to ask for support or ask for help in ways to increase income or side income. And, uh, you know, if, if this, the king would, would cut right through to this and say, you know what, I'm not going to do this anymore. I need some help here and I'm doing my part, but I'm not going to do everybody's part straight talking, straight community uh, communication, and clarity, bringing clarity to the situation. In terms of guidance, we have the Page of Wands and we have Temperance, Major Arcana. So the Page of Wands is this youthful energy who is young and wants to become more experienced, wants to take life by the reins and, and ride that horse, be active, be engaged, 
travel, you know, ambitions, uh, finding one's own power and making the most out of life, not sitting back and watching others have all the fun. So there's this piece here which is saying, man, you've been pushing these wands up the street here. Have some fun. Do something that you love, your passions, your enjoyment. Study something. Take, you know, go skydiving. Something to break the routine of this hard work of labor. So with this page of wands, we have temperance. And temperance is like, I see this here. I see how hard you've been working. I see that you've been really also exercising your smarts, trying to figure out how to deal with the situation. And I need for you to take a break. You know, I need for you to find the balance within your life, the integration of your emotional health, physical health, and your spiritual health as well mental health too. I don't know if I said that. So, you know, temperance is about finding just the right balance. Here's just the right balance, not spilling the water. The balance between the physical and the spiritual self, land and water. Temperance also wants you to check in with your intuition, with your, the messages that you receive from above, you know, listen to what you're hearing and what you're feeling. But most importantly, don't overdo it. Don't go to extremes. This is extreme. While the payoff may be great if you get there, you know, the after effect may be later on. Exhaustion. Uh, unable to carry forward in other projects. So it's important to get in balance. It's important to stay healthy in your mind, in your body, in your spirit, in all ways. Is to allow yourself to recover and to rest extra time to rest when you can, eating healthy, uh, treating yourself to self-care. You know, all of these things can help to restore some balance and the, the peace and the, and the equilibrium within your life. So in terms of possible outcomes, interesting, we have two women and look at the direction of their bodies and their faces quite similar. We have the Queen of Pentacles and we have Strength, the Major Arcana. So the Queen of Pentacles is this mothering, uh, motherly type of energy. Loving, compassionate, thoughtful, looks after her friends and family, is checking in and is making sure everybody's okay. And if you're under the weather, brings you soup or reaches out, goes to the store for you, something. She sits in this beautiful throne. She's outside. She's holding on to her pentacle. This is a queen. This is an energy of someone who knows how to handle money, the responsibilities of family, of career, of volunteer or other activities, multitasking at its best and successfully. So she's resourceful. She can really do it all. And it kind of right below this, Ten of Wands, yes, Sagittarius, you can do it all, but you do have to have some sense of balance within your life. Otherwise, it's going to be too much. This Queen of Pentacles follows a common sense approach, a grounded, stable, common sense approach, slow and steady wins the race. So she may be showing up in this reading to say, come on, use your common sense. You know, take some time out in nature. Enjoy the comforts of your hard work. Enjoy what you've been working for. You know, the things that bring you pleasure. And uh, then you can begin to feel a bit better. You know, take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Nurture yourself here as well. And then in terms of possible outcomes, we have strength major arcana in the strength card here is the woman she's handling the lion and the lion is looking up at her and this is such a great illustration because it shows how you can influence and how you can handle situations with grace with kindness and compassion when you are gentle instead of reactive 
when you have a soft touch instead of a hard control or trying to force someone to bend to your will. You, what's the expression? You catch a lot more flies with honey. I don't know if I'm bungling that up, but uh, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna go much further in life, further and farther when you are able to demonstrate kindness and consideration for others. You know, you can, um, strength is shown through vulnerability. Strength is shown when you are kind and considerate. And here's what we see. We see the infinity symbol over her head and it's just never ending, which is the cycle of, you know, taming the wild impulses that we have, taming the beast within us of not letting it win, not letting it get out of control. So for you Sagittarius this week, you know, the possible outcomes we're talking about rely on your inner strength. Your heart is strong. You have courage. You have whatever it takes in order to reach your goals and to accomplish the things that you want to do. Take care of yourself, nurture yourself, you know, be kind and loving. And if you need support, get the support for yourself. And again, balance. Don't forget to have fun. While you may be taking on so much, you need to cut yourself maybe some slack. Or you need to find a way to delegate or to just lighten the load a bit and use the power of your smarts and your intelligence and your focused uh, direction in order to make clear thinking, smart decisions. So let's take a look at what we have in terms of um, a weekly affirmation. The Miriam, sacred vision, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. See the light in all. I get a real sense of connecting to Queen of Pentacles and strength of seeing the light in all. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love. 